It was with me my entire life, yet it never crossed my mind. October 18th, 2022. I'm a 12-year-old out of shape kid. Day after day, it quickly takes over my YouTube recommendations. I just come across a fitness YouTube video. That day, I would make a decision that would change the trajectory of my entire life. I started with a workout routine in my little home gym. Stuck to it and stayed consistent. As November 2022 rolls by, I've just finished my first month of lifting weights. By then, I've cut out time wasters such as video games and the endless scroll of social media. After, as the months passed, my workout routine became more and more refined by trying out different exercises and workout routines. By December 2022, I could visibly see myself packing on muscle in the mirror. The gym has led me to countless self-improvement channels which has helped me improve my life in other areas too. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aaron Wang. I'm a 13-year-old entrepreneur, weightlifter, and endurance running athlete. I can save you time and wasted effort. In my TED Talk today, I'm going to share with you what I learned from lifting weights at a very young age, 12 years old. Here's the three biggest lessons I've taken away from lifting weights. Firstly, lifting has led me to value my overall health. Not only will it speed up my progress, but make me enjoy it more in the meantime. For instance, I was chowing down disgusting sugary foods such as processed fancy chocolates and gigantic servings of potato chips. However, I began doing my research on what I was actually filling my body with. My sources of proteins, carbohydrates, healthy fats, and nutrients that those foods actually contain. Now I'm eating an aggressively clean diet and loving it, fueling my body with what it actually craves. As well, I often stayed up past midnight playing video games on a school day. I was chronically sleep deprived and it cost me a fully functioning brain and my mental clarity. Secondly, lifting has taught me the value of delayed gratification. Picture this. You're standing in front of a mirror, unhappy with what you see. You take the first step, a decision to choose a gym over an extra hour of sleep. You get up early, already feeling the ache of the coming workout. Weeks pass, your muscles scream in rebellion, but you silence them with determination. You taste the bitterness of chicken and the blandness of salads, searing clear away from the instant pleasure of junk food. Days blur into weeks, weeks blur into months. The weight on the bar increases. There are moments where you feel the urge to quit, to give up. Frustration creeps in. But you're not about to give up just like that. Then one day, flex, and it happens. You notice a muscle you haven't seen before. Small, to there, it's progress. That small glimpse fuels your determination. It's not about aesthetics anymore. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. Now repeat that process with your work, passions, not over years, not over decades, but over a lifetime. Finally, the physical exercise transformed my mindset for the better. I've learned how to practice gratitude. In life, it's very easy to get lost in the chaos of a million small tasks and forget what you've accomplished. Appreciation reminds you of victories, big or small. It's about recognizing the efforts of others too. So, life is short. Appreciate the sunshine on your face, the taste of a good meal, and the warmth of a hug. It's these small things that fill your life up with richness and meaning. As well, I forged mental toughness that I did not know was possible. Along in this journey, I ran 50 kilometers. That's an ultra marathon. It wasn't a walk in the park. I had to push myself to the limits and not to give in to my excuses. A strong body makes a strong mind. For me, picking up that dumbbell was the first step for me. But every single marathon starts with one single step. You'll walk stronger, Stand taller and face life, most importantly, with an unbreakable spirit. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to take your first step. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. We only get one body each, so why not sculpt it to its full potential? That's why I'm going to continue this journey. It's about standing strong.
both physically and mentally, against the sands of time. Only you can change your life. Nobody else. Thank you. Thank you, Ireland.